There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets. The justice hammers have been designed using these as a model. Either way, all the hammers have been have here here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait, for some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? The spotless hammer has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. So this would be how Hifumi was moved. It's a dolly, it doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before, I guess it's used to move her own statues. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Yeah, Taka's body, not Fumi's. That's what I meant. So look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So the blood on the wheel of the dollies have moved from the equipment to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Seriously, how the hell did Fumi's body get moved up three staircases? Like, in two minutes. While we were walking down those staircases. This doesn't make any sense. Teleportation. Taka will never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Hifumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really <laughs> Yo, big you body. really gotta call him fat after he's dead? God damn! I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the from the nurse's office where he was discovered to hear the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good, I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it, his glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now they're completely clean. Does this mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? I think I understand. What? Current theory. Hifumi wasn't dead originally. Hifumi was in on it. Hifumi pretended to be attacked and then got murdered after he got here. After he was here already. He wasn't dragged up the stairs. He walked up the stairs. Current theory, who knows. Okay. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I thought somebody was staying behind soccer from when I forgot about the shadow thing. Hmm. Many aspects of this. Oh, this is yours, sorry. There are too many aspects to the incident at this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, it may be a good idea to look back on everything that's happened. So then. Would you like my help? This is basically, she'll just recount everything, so I don't really think you need that right now. So, um... Hey, uh, Makoto, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Huh? What is it? Hmm. After Hifumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... But we came right to the repository, you know? To, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. Same. And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search of the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there, but I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Finally, Byakuya. Hey Byakugan. Byakugan, did you really think Hiro did it? 
stuck on Drakagon. Also, I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and the murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died, yeah, he said Hero's name. So in other words, then there's no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. I guess he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case. Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? <laughs> Again, it comes to the fact that the culprit is a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is, why'd they bother killing two people? What? Because all the rules say is, if you can kill something and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But if killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on. Perhaps... I see, so that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with that attitude? <laughs> <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if you did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? So only one way in and out of the room, the door that Hina said was locked before. There's definitely a lock on this door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from in the art room. Hmm, the door can only be locked from inside, which makes me wonder. Hina Sakura confirmed the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there was no way someone could have beaten them to the repository, so that certain someone would have to be the killer. Hmm, there's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office, where Hifumi was found. Then the equipment room, where Taco was found. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Um, this is just theorizing, I guess. Mm -hmm. What happens if the blackened is there, they kill someone, and then they get killed? Are they still considered the blackened for the sake of no. the case? No. The second person's the blackened, because the blackened is now dead, so... Okay. So, you can steal the blackened status from someone else by killing them, essentially. That's yeah. my question. Just for the sake of seeing dialogue. Same thing I make every time. Okay. Okay. I'm not noticing anything. Okay. Well, I guess I better check out the two crime scenes. Hmm. Time to walk in here for it to all be cleaned up. I like how the blood pool just kind of grows. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the doll in the repository. There's blood on it. Could that blood have come from here? Which means that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. But even though this dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way he could have gotten out of the third floor. There, it's still totally a mystery, except I think I figured it out already. Just as him before, the weapon was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was already left here. I was 
sleeping right here when the killer carried the bodies away. Body, yep. body. That was like Kina's voice almost. <laughs> Shut up. No, it wasn't. They're basically the same anyway. Jill's just crazy. Yeah. Well, Jack. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. There we go. That's the correct voice. Shut up. Leave me alone. I, I said you got it right. Shut up. So if they want to head the bodies, why don't they throw them in the microwave? The giant microwave that controls dimensions and time. Called an oven. Hmm? Called an oven. That thing right there is called. <laughs> Wait, a microwave that controls dimensions and time is called an oven? Really, Cassie? Yep. What kind of oven yep. do you own? <laughs> that kind of oven. I don't know what kind of oven you own. A broke get one, I guess. Maybe you should go to where we found Tafumi. I'm I'm going there. I was just checking out the initial attack scenes as well. There's an exclamation point. I better check it. A dead body, ladies and gentlemen. And now we find Yasuhiro dead. That'd be a twist. The real question is, what happens if the murderer kills two people and then themselves? Justice Hammer 3. The um, one that was used to kill Fumi. They're still the black end, I guess? Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. What are you investigating, Celeste? I am not investigating any. I'm not investigating nothing, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved to Fumi's body. Let's see. Now, Hifumi was moved, eh? How Hifumi was moved, not now. When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Hmm. We could not- We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yes, and he, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. Here after someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of anything less than impossible. Celeste's account has been added to the truth bullet section. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. So that is not the weapon you used to kill Hifumi. The weapon to kill Hifumi was in yeah. the repository. That was just the one that bonked. Wait, what? The one that killed him was the one in the repository when he was finished off. What one? The one that was that was a little bit wet because it was clean. Oh. I'm already piecing this together. I wonder if there's anything in that trash can. Just a normal trash can. Oh wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief, it's a glasses cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Uh, the, it's also covered in blood. Oh. Did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used to wipe away some blood. But who could need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me neither. Me either. But I think it might be important. I've already figured this out, so... You know, that's a thing. That means we might be rid of Yasuhiro at the end of this. Maybe. I doubt it.
I still find the entire circumstance leading up to that weird, though. Same. What? Why? Ten million dollars is a positively unrealistic amount of money. Is that why they had to die? The circumstances of Thoas being attacked and all that? It was something about it bothers me, and I'm not sure what about it. So it might be Hero, it might be Kyoko, it might be Celeste. Because Hifumi would do anything for Celeste. I mean, Hifumi would do anything for Alter Ego. I don't think you really cared about Celeste anymore since you found Alter Ego. Maybe, but I mean, Alter Ego, sh better not be the fucking killer. <laughs> <laughs> the computer did it! Yeah, so we've just kind of kind of given up on that, I guess. What? That entire thing isn't Alter Ego still missing? Yeah. Yeah. And Kyoko's missing now, so that would explain Kyoko's disappearance, though, if Kyoko was dealing with that. I know where you have to go now, Gabe. Uh, I think. Do you want me to tell you, or do you want to hit? Um. Wait. That's the nurse's office. So you already went there. So but why fine. is it still an exclamation point? Because it always is. Everywhere you have to go will be an exclamation point. I mean, okay. That would make looking around pretty easy, though. Or, if not. Uh, what's, what's your hint? Um, do you know where Owie is currently? This is a question. Do you know where Owie is? Like, have we seen her since we started this? Yeah, she, Owie and, uh, Hina and, uh, Sakura are guarding the repository. Right. Okay. And I guess we don't have to go there yet. Um... I mean, hmm. just a sec. I'm gonna just look around, find us here banging on this door. Okay. Hmm. Just to be sure. Well, I guess I wander around for a bit and just look for clues. I've checked the attack sites as well as the Mieta sites. I apparently should check out the school more. This black bar belongs to us now, the secret beauty. This is the desk I woke up when I first got here. The little pamphlet is still laying there. I still have no desire to look at it again. Yeah. Do you want some assistance? Uh, give me a moment. Okay. I'm just gonna look around and make sure there's not any, you know, surprise. I figure it's more fun that way. They would have been in the female bathroom, and I can't check that, right? I can never go in the girls' room, right? Mm-mm. Yeah. This baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Boom, motherfucker. Um, okay, Gabe, I think I know the next room you need to go to. So, you've been to the rooms where people were attacked, right? Yeah. All of them? Y yes. No. I, I went to the game room. You did? Yes. Was anybody there? No. Okay. 
Okay, maybe it's because one. I. It might have been because I hadn't gone down to talk to Celeste yet. So I'll go there again. Since you said that, I'll do it again. This is one of the first places I went. After I left the art room, I came straight here. Did you check out the hammer on the floor again? I didn't see it when I turned. We should really talk to this Justice Hammer 1, but what the heck is with this thing? Does Try to open the, the thingy. What? The thingy that shows you what's here. Alright, I think that's it. It's a chair. Um. Okay, so, okay, where you're supposed to go next, um, who are we suspecting? Um, Hifumi himself, I think, was an accomplice who was then murdered. I don't, I don't mean you, Gabe. I mean in the game. I mean, that's a hero. Okay. Where would we go to investigate Yasuhiro? I mean, I thought the dorm, but you can't go to the dorm. Yeah, you can. No, I just tried to do that. It said I should check out the school first. Ugh. Yeah. And you haven't gone somewhere. Yeah, exactly. That. Okay, I'll just go investigate the body areas. Oh, hold on. Apparently, you're supposed to talk to Sakura and review the chain of event. Okay, that thing you told me I should do. Got it. Because we didn't need it. I didn't know it was a requirement. I didn't need it. It's probably added to the truth bullet section or something. So then. Yeah, let's go back on the Yeah, okay. Just. Alright. Cassie. Okay. It's your read. This morning, only four of us met up in the dining hall Hina, Kyoko, you, and myself. <coughs> we waited for the others, but nobody showed up, so we decided to go look for them. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. That's you. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor, then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Hmm. Yes. Uh, based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It's still you. Uh, I know. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Tifumi away. After messing, meeting up with Toko and Byakuyu, we began searching for the costumed assailant. We found an injured Tofumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office, I can't read that, Gabe. I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. We're not reading any of this. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back to the second floor where we split up and began searching. Then right after that... Celeste screamed. This time she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we ma quickly made our way to the third floor. So, oh wait, this is flashbacks, Gabe. Yeah. Hmm. 
Mm. And then... At this point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celestine and I went back to the nurse's office, meanwhile Yubiaki and Toko pursued the suspect on the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi's corpse, which is when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. Except that that was not the us finding the body that was probably them finding the body. Once again, Hifumi wasn't dead. However... Cassin? But at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Equipment harbor. Which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time. Because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you, Byakuya, that Hifumi had been killed, right? Then you, me, and Byakuya all headed back to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko, who had fainted. But as soon as, she'd left the, as soon as we had left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who just arrived to tell us something was very unusual. No. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was, in fact, gone. So... Talk had been dead for a while. Celeste was the actual killer who was working with Hifumi, and Celeste then proceeded to kill Hifumi after he met up with her in the repository. Got it. That's why this all seems so fake to me in some ways. Wait, what? What'd you say? Uh, Celeste is the killer. Hifumi was a assistant. No idea where the hell Hiro or Kyoko are. Hiro's probably taking a nap. Honestly, that seems about right for Hero. Uh, yeah. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This time, Taka's body had disappeared. So from there, we began our search for both the missing bodies. And after some time... Celeste told us she found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. And then we rediscovered the two bodies that apparently vanished. And that brings us However. up to now. Looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine any time. Sure you are fine every time. Okay. Now we should be able to go to the door. Okay. Because we've done everything. You looked at Taka's body, right? Yes, I did. That's okay. how I discovered the thing about Ooh. the uh, tarp. Okay. Yeah. Let's just try walking. Oh, wait. There. Did you look at the tarps in the equipment room? I don't know the answer to that. Give me a moment. That might be the thing we're missing. Maybe. Because I'm surprised that the past events were not added to the truth bullet section. Yeah, that would be what we need to do. Thank you, Cass. Yeah. Not this tarp. I feel like I've seen some before and just recently too. No? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I can't fast travel over to the thing yet. So, unless there's supposed to be an event happening. There's no other items that stand out. Oh, wait! You missed something in the nurse's office. Go to the nurse's office. Okay. Man, we missed something in every room. Sucks to suck. 